that beat, Rick? Yeah. But before any of that, roll intro. That's staying in. Good morning. <laughs> From the southwest of France. Departement DC. It should be DC, shouldn't it? Um, La Charente. Anyway, I'm here in a place I can't pronounce. Colin, can you do the can you do the honours for me? Rochechouart. Rochechouart. It's a it's a lovely place. Uh, I'm giving Colin a hand um, with some gardening today, just to keep me out of trouble and uh, to stop me weeding my own place. <laughs> So uh, anyway, I've not brought I've not brought my camera, so I'm just going to be using my phone like here. So uh, whatever next, which I can't film it. Let's not film that. <laughs> Next place. Right, so we're at the second place now. Um, there's loads of work to do. It's not going to be finished today. Um, it's going to involve a bit of trimming, a bit of mowing, a bit of raking, and uh, yeah, I'll show you. in the camera so I'm not using uh, not using the iPhone like a savage <laughs> sorry Colin I know you use us <laughs> anyway yes yeah, so back from Collins yeah, Collins uh, back from helping Colin out um, yeah it's lovely Colin's such a lovely bloke it's funny it makes me laugh anyway so while I've been uh, out gallivanting around the uh, southwest of France Lisa's been um, Weeding. So she's done a cracking job. That saved me a couple of hours work, about two, three hours work, just for that little bit in the rest of the garden. That's fine. Anyway, yeah, there's going to be more talking in this video because um, <laughs> I'm not doing much. Anyway, um, so on Monday we've got uh, the TV production company coming. Um, so the production director's coming on Sunday to have a, to have a look around and then filming Monday, Tuesday. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's that's an interesting process again, you know. So it's all meetings and meetings and getting things sorted, uh, finding places to do pieces to camera. One thing that I found funny is they want us to meet Jean again um, for the camera at a pretty place. So Lisa and I spoke and we suggested uh, the old bridge in Confalon. It's called uh, Le Pont Vieux, the bridge old, old bridge. Uh, it's where I drove along illegally in January last year when we came for the recce, uh, not realising. Yeah, they've since, since put, put up a bollard because of the likes of me, probably just me. And um, we also did a bit of filming on that bridge as well with Jean. So we have suggested that and uh, I had to send the production director the coordinates. Now, 
when researching through Google, uh, I saw <laughs> people have been reviewing the bridge. They have been reviewing a bridge. And uh, somebody's given it a three out of five. <laughs> Why would you give a bridge a three out of five? What what more did the bridge have to do to get a five? What was it missing? It went from A and it went to B and it didn't get you wet. So uh, I think some people are just arseholes, aren't they? Anyway, um, I've come to this part of the garden because um, the production director wants Jean to do a piece to camera away from us uh, overlooking French countryside with um, flowers. Now, no flowers around here because it's been a late summer. So I'm going to do some video, videoing down the bottom of the garden with my phone. I'm going to send it to him. Um, well, apart from that, I'll see you tomorrow. So I've got quite a bit on today. I've got to post that letter to the French authorities about the size of the house and the rooms. Uh, need to go and uh, go to the bottle bank. It's something that I like to do every couple of years just to uh, empty the, um, you know, the small amount of beer bottles and wine bottles that we've amassed over the last couple of years. So it's <laughs> what else do we need to do? Oh, I need to go to the car for uh, to go and get some stuff. Um, it's July. Sun's trying to come out. Cue slow-mo. Oliver. So that's a posted. That's a posted in Champagne Mouton because the one, our local one, is, is shut. This is the car for? Did a bit of shopping. Put that bottle in the bottle bank. And uh, Lisa's been cracking on with the weeding. Anyway, who wants a veggie patch update? I know I do. And this one's dedicated to Andy from AJ in France. We've already done that one this week, I think. Um, only do one a week, but. And he really likes them, so the stuff's been growing, so I'll show you. Right, so we're going to start with the raspberries. Have we got any today? And the runner beans? They've gone bigger. New rocket. It's coming through. Oh yeah. <laughs> Straight in. 
Right, and here we have our courgettes, look. It's grown loads since the last time we did it. We've got three on this one, haven't we? There's three on that one. Here's our melon. Melon. And uh, this is uh, Cherry. small cherries. Like grape cherries or something, aren't they? Grape, yeah. Right, so here's our massive tomatoes. There's one. Is there, is there more than that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I, I don't know whether the camera can get it, but. Uh, all these flowers will be tomatoes. And then. And this garlic's ready. Before you get these two both out. So, what you can't do, which is what we did last time, was yank them out. <laughs> so. I've been given the honours. There we go. Garlic. So that needs to dry for three weeks. This is going to get a beetroot. Boom. Yes, this is Lisa's first ever veggie patch. I used to uh, used to joke back in the UK that Lisa would, would walk past a flower and it would wilt. <laughs> but yeah, so she's done amazingly well. Really proud of her. Anyway. Layers. <laughs>